Well, hello everybody. Um, so, <laughs> coloured pencil front chronicle. Oh, I can't even get my words out. I've literally just come back from the vets. I've had a whole month of um, podcasts, broken toes, dodgy knees, trips to the vet, um, <laughs> all sorts of things. So I'm, I'm here. Uh, I'm here to tell you all about it. <laughs> oh gosh, honestly. Um, what a what a brilliant month! What a fantastic month! Always, always find a positive um, in everything that you're doing. Um, so, what a brilliant month! Uh, podcast launched beginning of March. Um, it's had over two thousand um, downloads, which is amazing. It's ranking on Apple Podcasts again in the UK, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, I've had the most fantastic, fantastic uh, people uh, chatting to me, and I've got some amazing people coming. Uh, so, you know, listen to it. If you haven't listened to it, give it a listen because it's not an art podcast. Um, okay, so it's not it's not a it's not your usual art podcast or you know anything like that. It's just about inspirational people, normal people, amazing people, fantastic people who have got brilliant, brilliant stories to tell. Um, and um, yeah, so if you haven't watched it, give it give it a, a listen to. You don't watch podcasts, listen to it. Um, so you can probably tell I've had my hair cut. Um, I've just straightened it. <laughs> to make me look a little bit more presentable. Um, it's going to it's going to take a get a bit a get a bit of getting used to, um, just because I'm going to have to sort of style it and everything. If I don't straighten it, um, I look like um, oh gosh, what's her name on um, on Call the Midwife? Phyllis. That's who it is. <laughs> so if you're a Call the Midwife fan, and even if you're not, go and have a look at Phyllis because that's what my hair looks like if I don't straighten it. Um, so, yeah, f fabulous month. I've had record numbers joining my uh, one of my Facebook groups, which is amazing, my Bonnie Snowden uh, Colour Pencil group, which is fantastic. Um, I had a brilliant live event um, last week, a Q&A event, which was really great, and I had, uh, I had guests on there, which was fantastic. A couple of my, couple of my students came and had a bit of a, a chat about um, what they were doing and, and how they uh, have overcome confidence issues, all of that type of thing. Um, what else have we done? Vinny broke his toe. Hi Nelly. Hello darling. <laughs> it's Nelly here. Nelly's, Nelly's little nose there. Uh, Vinny broke his toe a couple of weeks ago. Uh, running, would you believe? Just running. Um, and I won't go into details but basically we, it wasn't going to heal because the bone had gone straight through. So very sadly um, he had his, he had his toe removed last week. Um, I haven't shared pictures of it because it is a thing for a horror movie, I have to say. Excuse me, Nelly. Nelly, come and sit down here. Come on, Nelly, come on. Come here. Not doing barking, no. Um, it is It is a thing of... Nelly, sit down. So Vinny's toe is a thing of, of, of horror movies. Um, it looks like an emu's toe. Um, he said the big... What was that? Honestly, <laughs> I sit down to make a video and everything just, the mop's just fallen over, slippers barking. Um, I've got a meeting to go into in about 20 minutes, so I probably should wait, shouldn't I? Um, but no. Of course not. Um, highly professional of me just to get us to, you know, chat away <laughs> when everything's going when everything's going wrong. Anyway, so yes, it, he, he's got this very sore toe, and of course he's not allowed to uh, he's not allowed to touch it. So they gave me the cone of shame, which I have here to demonstrate. Cone of shame here. Um, cone of shame doesn't actually work very well on a sight hound. Uh, Sighthounds' heads are a very similar sort of width to their necks, so it just all comes off. So I've been um, I've been kind of resurrecting my bandaging skills from when I had horses, and uh, he's I've fished out all of the odd socks, and he's had um, all sorts of different odd socks on, um, and uh, you know vet wrap on there and bandaging it and everything, and um, hoping that he, you know, isn't going to get it off. So. 
And then he's supposed to have his foot out in the open to let it all dry. So I've been having to sit in different places to make sure that he doesn't touch his foot. Oh, anyway, yesterday we went out for Mother's Day, which was just had the most lovely, lovely meal. Um, really lovely breakfast with my gorgeous children. Came back and the flipping dog had ripped all of his bandage off and chewed it all. <laughs> So we're back to square one. Oh my goodness, dogs, dogs and, and amputated toes. Um, so back to the vets this morning. I've got, every time I go outside, he has to have a poo bag on, on his foot. He doesn't have to have a poo bag on his foot, obviously. He could have just any old plastic bag on his foot, but because I've got tons of poo bags, it's easy to put a poo bag on. And the ones I use, I'll show you actually, I use these ones, they're like eco ones, earth friendly ones, and they come on these like little, um, long uh sort of like long stream of of poo bags um so i just have two together and i put one poo bag on keep two together wrap that round and hey presto you have a hopefully a, a dry foot when he goes outside <laughs> anyway I'm, honestly i don't even know why i'm telling you about Vinny's toe and his poo bags but um yeah so this month has been a pretty pretty much packed full of of injuries my knee um i'm now, I'm now seeing uh, a physio for my knee which has been really good actually. I've had some ultrasound on it. Um, I'm back hopefully next week seeing the fabulous Sally um, for bioresonance, which has really, really, really helped in the past. Um, you know, so I need to get more of that in. And, um, and very excitingly, and I may well bring you the Coloured Pencil Chronicles from it next month. Um, I have bought the British version or the English version of the Peloton, um, which is a static bike. You're probably all sitting there going, oh my God, what is she doing? Um, so I bought this Apex bike um, and I'm going to get myself fit. Uh, I've been doing lots and lots of work with the fabulous Susie Pearl, who's on my podcast this morning, so go and have a listen. Lots of fabulous work about positive affirmations for me. Um, don't know whether you through read my Instagram uh, post last week. Basically, you know, I've kind of not really been in love with myself for, for quite a long time, I think. And um, so just sort of caring for other people, doing stuff for other people, but not really doing an awful lot for me. Um, so I'm now really looking at my weight. Um, I'm really being careful about what I feed myself and put into my body and make sure that it's really lovely and nutritious. Um, and I'm going to start looking after my body a little bit better because, do you know what? It has done me proud um, yeah, there's a few sort of creaks and groans and all of that type of thing, but it's got me this far. Um, it's given me three fantastic children and, um, you know, I need to look after it a little bit better. So that's kind of what's going on um, in my life at the minute. We have, what have we got? Oh, we've got my live session again coming up on Sunday. Uh, critiques. If you're an artist, any kind of artist, you don't have to be colour pencil. Colour pencil is the best, obviously. Um, but if you're an artist, come and join me um, on the 3rd of April at 7 o'clock in the evening. Um, you'll find links and everything. There will probably be a link down below, I would imagine. And there'll be links on my website and all of that type of stuff. So um, critiquing work live and teaching you how to critique your own work, um, you know, to aid your confidence and all of that type of stuff. So um, it's going to be a really good session. It's going to be a really good session. I, um, I, I love doing critiques. I do, uh, in the academy, I do 25 critiques a week. Um, is one of my favourite, favourite times of the week. I get to, uh, I get to see sort of 25 artists work and each one gets sort of like, you know, between four and five minutes. And I, I really get in there and, and try to build people's confidence up, you know, by telling them what's amazing about their work and then how they can uh, develop further. So that's, uh, that's coming up and I'm, I, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about that. Uh, what else is coming up? The Academy is opening again on the 18th of April. Really hope that you all are going to join me. Um, it's honestly, it's the most fantastic place to be. The brilliant feedback. People are developing just incredibly. Um, and it's, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just really a, a fab place to be. The community is brilliant and yeah, it's just wonderful. Um, and then what else? I've got, um, just trying to think what else I've got. I've got, uh, oh, I've got some new bits and pieces coming around the business side of stuff, which is very exciting. Uh, watch this space. Um, I've got some fab pieces to share very soon once they are given. And then I'm going to be working on some new tutorials as well, some shorter ones. Um, 
some speedy ones. Oh, don't forget to sign up for my live draw, uh, live, live draw along. I think it's the 10th of April, um, two o'clock, three o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday. Uh, we're drawing a little lamb, so don't forget to sign up to that as well. Um, and yeah, just um, it's just been a, a very, very busy, busy, busy month. Um, I can't really think what else I've been doing apart from creating videos and drawing and we've been doing the fantastic bear in art club and um yeah just just had a, 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 a usually busy 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 month um which has been fantastic so um yeah i hope you're all okay i hope you all are going to join me in the different bits and pieces and um i will see you all again very soon but, you know maybe um whilst i'm cycling this new apex bike who knows um you know <laughs> the likelihood is of me injuring myself as soon as i get on it it's probably quite high um but uh, but but you know there we go at least i'm trying <laughs> um anyway all right guys see you all soon and thank you all so much for all your support and everything uh, it really really is appreciated mm -hmm.